Hi, I'm actor Stuart Pankin, <laughs> and I'm a funny guy. But I also know that wounds are no laughing matter. In the following video, I'm going to help you learn how to change your wound dressings at home so you can heal faster and get back to the lifestyle you deserve. I'm Dr. Lee Rogers. In a moment, this patient and caregiver are going to show you how to apply the dressing to your wound. If you follow these instructions, you'll give your wound the best chance of healing. In this video, we are going to explain the process of applying an alginate and adhesive bordered foam dressing to your wound. Your package contains the dressing your physician ordered for you. Always wash your hands before applying your dressing. Lay out the supplies from your smart pack on a clean towel and put on the gloves provided. Well, they gave us everything we need. In most cases, the alginate sheet will be in direct contact with the wound. Please confirm with your physician that this is the correct order for your particular wound treatment plan. Okay. You trust me? Yeah, just cut it to size. Tuck the corners of the sheet inside of the wound bed or you can trim the alginate sheet to fit the edge of the wound. When trimming the sheet, you should only use clean scissors that are designated for wound care purposes. Make certain that the alginate is inside of the wound bed and not overlapping on the surrounding skin. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now apply the foam dressing. The borders of this dressing are self-adhesive and don't require anything to hold it in place. The foam should extend one to two inches from the edge of the wound. Securely press the borders to ensure they stick. There we go. Simple as that, right? Thank you. When you're finished changing your dressing, discard all materials, including your gloves. First, remove one glove by only touching it with the other gloved hand. Then remove the second glove with your bare hand by sliding a finger under the wrist cuff and pulling it off. This will prevent contamination of your hands with wound drainage. But it's also a good idea to wash your hands again after the dressing change. We hope you found this information helpful. If you have questions concerning your wound, please call your physician. To reach a SmartPak representative, call the number on your screen. And thank you for using SmartPak, where we believe Good things come in smart packages. This video contains information for general, educational, and informational purposes and is not medical advice. Each patient's care is unique. Please contact a healthcare professional if you have any questions regarding this information or any aspect of your care.